that I started out playing clarinet at age six. Now, my father, although a jazz musician, didn't really want me to be one. He wanted me to be a classical musician and play in an orchestra. So all my early training was for that. But I always wanted to play jazz, and I always wanted to play the saxophone. I didn't play saxophone until I was 16. Mostly my education comes from musicians, from the streets, doing it, learning in situations, playing for band leaders. Playing at the Smiling Dog Saloon from 1970 to approximately 1975, I was blessed with an incredible opportunity to play opposite all of the major jazz figures. Cannonball, Adderley, and Herbie Hancock recommended me to Quincy Jones, and I played with his band and toured with him for a while. Yogi Berra said, you know, you can't think and hit at the same time. Well, it's kind of true about playing. You try to get more of that kind of reaction to the situation as opposed to like you know clearly thinking however you get things to move in slow motion it's all going by slowly so you almost can see yourself doing this thing stand in Toledo, Ohio, it's the same feeling when the music starts as, as if you're playing in Carnegie Hall. The situation is different, but the relationship with the music is the same. The best compliments that I ever get, always, always are, you know, I don't really like jazz, or I don't consider myself a jazz fan, but I like what you do. April in Paris has this kind of winding road that it takes. Beautiful all the way, but very intriguing. It's a very difficult tune to play. I've heard really wonderful musicians kind of step all over themselves trying to improvise on April in Paris because of the unusual nature of the form. It's one of those rediscoveries. I've known the tune forever, but I just rediscovered it again and, and, and fallen in love with playing it again. If you're always, you know, creating something, you're always looking for something new, you know, there's, all, there's like a reason to get up in the morning. You always can find some new way of doing something. And uh, that's kind of what keeps me going. <laughs>